Okay, this project is about making audio VU meters, the digital variety, and everything should apply for Motion 4 as it does in Motion 5. You can't use the audio parameter in Final Cut Pro 10, so you can't build this as a Final Cut template. So you'll have to know how long the audio that you are metering is when you start your project or as you build your project in motion and just build the whole thing in motion and then render it out and import it. In the finder, find your audio that you want to use. I recommend using AIF. MP3s don't seem to be handled all that well in motion. Select it and type the spacebar and it'll tell you how long it is. So back in motion we'll start a project and set the duration to one second longer than the audio. What I'm going to do for this project is just go ahead and start by drawing a rectangle in the canvas. I'm going to go to the inspector and center it up. Just going to replicate this. And in the replicator, I think I'll set the size to about 900. And 60 is a good number. It makes it evenly divisible by 20. I'm going to make one column and 20 rows. I'm going to set the origin at the bottom. And down here in the cell controls, I'm going to change the color mode to over pattern. Turn down the disclosure triangle on the gradient and make this first color on the left a pure green. I can go down here and scale the rectangle a little bit. And maybe a little more narrow. Like that. All right. Then I'm going to click on the group, go into the properties. Turn on cropping and for the top, okay, I'm going to set this to 960 because that's the uh, distance I want the, the audio to uncover and the replicator setting is going to be 926. I don't know if you remember, but when we originally created it, uh, the bounding ends of the replicator went halfway through the top and the bottom rectangles. So anyway, we've got that set up. I'm going to go into the finder, drag my audio onto the canvas here. Go back to the group. Go back to properties, right click on the crop top and add a parameter behavior, audio. In the source audio I'm going to go to master for this. For this demonstration I'm just going to make stereo meters, but if you're making uh, like 10 meters you would want to break it down into bands here and this will tell you the frequency. Uh, every doubling of the frequency is an octave. 
but for this I want the entire scale. Down here for the channel mix, I'm going to go left on this one. I'm going to keep the peaks sharp and I'm going to set the apply mode to subtract because we set the group crop top to 960. The audio already has a hold of it right here. And for every increase in the audio, it's going to subtract that amount from the top. And you'll see in a minute how that works. So go back to the behaviors. I think I got everything set up, so let's try it out. Now we adjust the scale. And the scale would have to go to 960. We have a little problem here in that as we're getting a continuous change in the audio levels and it doesn't look digital. It's, you're not getting the effect of having the individual lights turn on. So in order to handle that, we go back to the group properties, crop, top, right click on that and add another parameter behavior. And this time you want quantize. And now we're going to have to figure out the uh, step size start with 46 okay go frame by frame okay it's not exactly right but we're still in the padding on each Let's try 49. That looks almost exact. Alright, that's a pretty good setting. Uh, other things you can do to adjust is uh, rescale the rectangle a little bit. But this is a good match. So now we've got our basic audio meter. So we go to the group and name it left channel. Then duplicate it and call this one right channel. And then we'll want to go into the properties and move its position out and go into the behaviors and change from channel left to channel right. Okay, uh, that's the basic principle. Mm -hmm.